Hey, I'm Carmen Cruz here on the final night of our Peak Performance Project Showcase, and I'm here with Bodie Jones. Hey, I'm here with Adrian Glynn. How do you feel tonight? Pumped. The, the left, can we introduce ourselves? Jeremy. Eric. Kevin. Josh. And Carl. Bend Sinister. Can you guys introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Dan. I play the drums. Dan. Keyboard. I'm Henry. I play the guitar. I'm Joseph. I play the guitar. Um, who am I again? What's my I think name? You, I think you're oh, wait, I, I, I'm Joel. Yes. Uh, I can't remember what I play. Oh, wait, wait. I play bass. I, I heard you were sick. I am very sick. But the crowd was just so loving and comforting that I feel great now. I'm healed. <laughs> I like the Fred Penner song you sang. Oh, yeah. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Were you singing along? A little bit. I'm not going to lie. But my voice is like um, nails on a chalkboard. So Sometimes nails on a chalkboard can be quite melodious. You guys got 3500 bucks. What would you guys do with the money? Oh, we've just been cruising since then. Uh, one of the things we did was uh, get a, a, a stylist. $3,500 can buy you these clothes. If, whatever. <laughs> That's all it takes. What a bargain. We, we did buy a new website, theleft.ca. And we got an organ for Josh because before that he was playing a, a Casio for my mom. His mom was an organ donor. Uh, we developed the most insane online marketing campaign you've ever seen in your life. Surrounded around a brand new website called BenSinisterBand.com. We had a big ad in the Georgia Strait. Four and a half thousand cards for the uh, free giveaway of ten songs. And we're not really even focusing so much on Canada. It's all the States and Europe and other places that we know for sure haven't heard of us. And we're just targeting blogs and hitting like all the... I, it's amazing. I, I like to see how many blogs are like every single dude and his dog in their basement has a blog that writes about music. I got a free video done by Amazing Factory, which was fantastic. I saw that. You're in a minute song? Awesome. And then uh, I did some recording with Jeff Dawson and got a super awesome website coming out uh, probably on Sunday. And your website is? Plug, plug, plug. BodieJones.com. Vegas, baby. Vegas. Seriously. No, uh, usual stuff. You know, website. Which is? AdrianGlynn.com. Recording photos. Just, yeah, usual stuff. Very, very helpful to have that money, though, because uh, it's, it's gotten those little steps done, so I feel good about that. So what do you guys do to get ready for a show? How do you prepare for your show? Well, we got here, we did a sound check. After sound check, we, uh, got, we, we had dinner. And then after dinner... Did you guys have garlic? Because I'm kind of... Yeah. Well, Dana drinks uh, uh, a full jug of pure vodka and, and, and ice before every show. I have this shirt that that gets uh, measures yes! measures energy levels. So if everybody gets really excited, you ready? One, two, three. Oh God! Uh, spend a week or two panicking about the show, and then just run the songs maybe once or twice. It's definitely something I might want to work on. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I rehearse a lot. I dance around in my basement. I pray to the gods and I get a lot of sleep. Do you have any like good luck charms or superstitions that you have that you keep before every show? This is gonna be awkward, but I, have you heard of a neti pot? I rinse my sinuses before every show. You get a little, it's like a little pot, you put salt water, water with sea salt, and then you just like pour it through your nose. It's for you ladies, that's for you. Man, it's, I used to be so superstitious. I used to play baseball and I used to put on my leggings one, like the right leg first and the left leg second and have a whole tradition of like where everything went in my bag and all this crazy, and it, uh, I was like an obsessive compulsive 10 year old playing baseball. And so now I try to like any sign of superstition, like any sign of like, oh, that show, show went well and I place the mic like this, I'll be like, no. No superstition. So. Why don't I just get you a furry troll and you can keep that? A troll? You mean like those things with the hair? Wow, you're a 90s girl. That's awesome. We had a, a tradition of, of, of sushi. We would go out for sushi every, every before every show, but then that got too expensive. And we'd end up spending all the, the show money on the sushi. Uh, anyway, but we got rid of that. That answer was kind of fishy. That joke was really rice. 
stretch, jump around. Yep. Lunge. Yeah. I have to take absolutely everything out of my pockets. Every single thing. Yes. Even the lint. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Think about how you felt when you first heard your song played on the peak. Show me how you felt in an interpretive dance. You have 10 seconds. Do it now. Okay, and I'm done. That's it. Thanks for the interview. I need to get some